Hello everybody, welcome to episode two of TQM Throws. We're continuing on the disc golf train here today. Got another disc golf episode for you. So today we're doing something a little more interesting, right? Yeah, <laughs> uh, I would you, say that. We're going to be uh, doing a bag swap challenge. So I'm actually gonna be playing with Kang's bag here. Discs that I don't really use. Kang's gonna go ahead and take my bag. <sighs> so we'll see how it goes, should be fun. Good luck. We're playing here at uh, Chattahoochee Point Park today. Uh, really fun course. It's actually pretty beginner friendly because it's so wide open. Uh, got some longer holes here. Kang has some interesting discs in his bag, so not sure how it's going to go for me. I think Kang will probably fare a little bit better than, than me. So, all right, you ready to hit the course, Kang? I'm ready. All right, let's go. All right, so hole number one here. We're playing short tee, so this is 180 feet. We've got two gaps here. You can either do a go down the right side, hyzer in, or just go straight at the basket. Where are you throwing, Kang? Going with the zone. Okay. Because I need it to fade. And it's not that far, it's 180. Going right gap then? Right gap. Praying I don't grip block this, no warm up. But let's, actually should I wait for it? Nah, I'm good, I'm good. Oh, that's muddy. Yep. Skip, ooh, with the flare skip. Nice. All right, Chris, where are you going here with the 180? Going to uh, rock three here, champ rock three, same line. But I uh, probably will be missing it. Oh. <laughs> That's not what I was trying to do. Okay. All right, look at Kang's shot though, right here. Oh God, there's a bug on it. <laughs> Wait, this is a weird shadow play. I don't really like Kang's it. putting with Luna's for the first time. Nice, birdie. Blur it out. Get the par, or bro nice. bogey. <laughs> bogey. Dang it. Uh, hole two is 370 feet, par four, and I'm gonna go with this FD C line. Um, Pretty new. Pretty never new. thrown it before. It looks brand new, right? Yeah, it's new. I just got it over the weekend. Oh, you just got it. Okay. Yep. It's pretty open. A couple of little trees to miss, but you can see the basket down there. So here we go. A little turn, it's fading now. Pretty good distance. Yeah, I think I got it there around like high 200s. Yep. All right, Chris, what are you going with? I'm going with this Blue Star T-Bird. This is a 161 gram. I'm very familiar with this disc because I gave it to Kang like a couple months ago. <laughs> this is called cheating. He's using a disc that he gave to me. I don't know why he abandoned this disc. Look at that, it is flying just like he wanted to. <laughs> All right, Chris is looking through my bag. He's trying to figure out. What, oh, it looks like he's reaching for the zone. For the zone. <laughs> okay, he's, it's a very familiar disc. A familiar disc. I have a zone. Oh, too much. Good distance though. Going with the Luna. Luna approach here. Pretty close. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling like Paul Macbeth. Yeah, he'd make this. He'd make this. Uh, or I could just get an easy birdie. Easy birdie. Kang's putters, he uses these R2 anodes, so it's like a premium plastic. A little slicker than I'm used to. Let's see if we can drain this birdie putt here. Oh. I haven't even hit. <laughs> Par at least. The easiest birdie. Yeah. Hole number three, 240 here. Going with the paradox. Paradox, understable. Understable. I'm trying to throw it a little flat and then have it fade in towards the basket. Or just turn over towards the basket. Just for the viewers to know. So we didn't really give each other hints on what the discs do. Well, there's numbers on it. He knows the numbers, but I have a couple of special edition discs. So like, for example, Kang right now passed up the uplink. So let's we'll see if that comes back to bite him. Oh no, that's solid. Oh no, it's A little short. short. No, on understable shots like this, Kang always grabs his panther. Oh no, too much Anheuser on that release. Yeah. Oh, that's gonna suck. What is he doing here? I'm just trying to get through these trees here for a long putt. Actually, I wonder... Oh, turtle? I'm gonna go upside down and try to just skim it up, right? Yeah. That could be cool. Oh, not enough. 
That's a long, long putt. Oh! Oh! oh no, I thought I had that. I thought you oh. had that. Oh, what am I doing? Oh, no. Oh, oh no! Yes. Clean up my bogey here. Mm. Yeah, putting with something different is, is very odd for a little bit. Longest hole on the course here, right? Yes. Hole four. We're looking at par five, 780 feet. Where are you going with Kang? I'm going with the Volt. I want something a little bit more stable. Okay. And um, trying to avoid the trees on the right. Yeah, so off of the tee, you can see there's a little gap. But then after these trees, it opens up wide open. Oh, that's more stable than I thought. <laughs> Well, this is super stable. Chris. Yeah, that one, that one's got a lot of fade. Feels like nothing. Who's is this? Your leopard or is this Mia's leopard? That's my leopard. I like the lighter leopards. I just like lighter discs. That's right. Oh, that's money. Come on, don't fade too much. Oh, okay. oh, you're nice. That's money. I'm gonna try out your Valkyrie. I've never thrown a Valkyrie before, so we'll see now. It's more open now, so I'm not too worried about it. Oh, that's great. You saw how it like yep. turned over, or yep. it started to turn a little bit to stay straight. Nice and flat, nice and flat for me. Yeah. I'm going with the hex. Okay. It's basically a buzz, I think. Yep. A little glidier than a buzz, but yeah. Oh, oh no. Uh, oh no. No, that was a good throw though. <laughs> oh, God. So I'm gonna go with this orbital. Apparently it's really flippy. Negative 4.5. Yep. I don't really know what that means. 11 speed though, so. Kang says he doesn't throw a lot of distance drivers. I don't throw any distance drivers. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that full flight. Oh, actually, I have a super long putt. I just throw this Valkyrie again, but I've you got this nice Thunderbird. Look how pretty it is. It's... Oh, I let go too early. Oh no, that just slipped right out. Still left some meat on the bone here. I'm gonna try your favorite disc, it the M Model US. Just go straight at it, I think, pretty much. Okay. You, left a, you left a long putt, I think. Yep. All right, long, long birdie video. putt for Kang here. Close. Ooh, I'm gonna see if I can do this or am I gonna miss it? How do you do it? You just... Hole five, you can see. It's just a straight tunnel shot from short to here. We're looking at 200 feet. So, what you got? Just the hex? I think I'm gonna try the hex. I'm gonna try to throw it on Annie and pray that it stays straight most of the way. If it fades left, it's not a big deal. Oh, oh no. that was close. It looked like you almost had it. The M model. M model US. Kang always neglects this. He always throws it as a second shot. <laughs> that is true. Oh my god. Oh god. Oh no, Daniel. Alright, Kang's going with the proxy here. Not too much farther ahead than mine, but able to get through. Oh. Oh. Uh-oh. And it rolled back? No, I missed it. Oh. Ooh! So close. Okay, so we're at hole six now, and uh, I'm at plus five. I ate a double bogey there. Kang's even now, so playing well. Hole six is uh, pretty open. Not too long, the sign's gone, so I honestly don't know how long it is, but what do you think, Kang? What's your estimate? If I had to guess, it, w it is probably 230, 240. Okay. And it makes no sense for me to do this, but I'm gonna throw his Zen for the first time, 
And I'm going to go wide and have it hyzer in. Maybe give it an ace run. I don't know. Yep. Uh-oh. Nah. Too much fade. Too much fade. Juiced, also. <laughs> and with your champion T-Bird this time. Oh, oh, that's super stable. Oh, no. It slipped out of my hand again. Ooh, that tree saved you. Yep, it did. Go with the zone here. Keep it nice and simple. Yep. Oh, you're going to... I think I had to forehand it. So, that's already a recipe for disaster. Oh, oh, that wasn't bad at all. A little long still. What am I doing? Oh. Oh. No, weird deal. Nice par save. Also, this, I'm throwing this Euro Palooza. Euro Palooza. It's got an alien on it. This, I don't know what it flies like. This Chris, is the uplink. Chris has probably told me at least five times, but <laughs> once. So I have no idea. Oh, fade? Oh, a little fade? I juiced it. I used to have a Mako 3, throwing Kangs though. He says it's more understable than the one. I actually gave him my old Mako. He says mine's way more stable than his. So I'm just gonna, I feel like he has better arm speed, so I'm going right at the basket here. Oh. Yeah, that went straight for a while. Yeah, not bad. Ooh. Ooh close. Circle one putt though. Oh, so close. Par putt here. And par for Kang. Hole eight, 190. You can see the pin nestled in some trees here. Where are you going? I'm going Malta. Um, Overstable, okay. It's not usually the disc I would usually throw, but I'm gonna try to go right and have it fade in. So Kang normally just goes straight at the basket. But. New line, new disc, new line. Oh. A little long, but pretty good. Oh. oh, oh. That was pretty good. That, pretty that was good. pretty good. Ah, first nice birdie. Putt. Nice putt. Two birdies. Hole number nine is 180 feet straight ahead. This is definitely an ace run. You went for with the reactor? Going with the reactor. Oh, that's money. Oh, Ooh. It's so long. oh, it's so long. What are you going with, Chris? Your Z Buzz. Oh, no. Oh, no, money. fade in. It'll no, fade in. No, it's good. Oh, it's around the tree. Oh, it's great. Oh, okay. yeah, not bad, not bad. Nice, birdie. Plus nice. Three. Coming down. Hole 10, wide open here. Uh, the pin's about 245. Yeah, 245. So you can see, wide open. What are you going with? Resistor? Going with resistor. I heard it's very overstable, so I'm going to put on any and go wide. Okay. And see what happens. And there's also a, a little wind. Yeah, a little wind now. Ooh, parked. Go with your Undertaker. Undertaker. I'm gonna try pretty much the same thing, actually. Throw it wide. Oh, too wide. Oh, yours is so flippy. Oh, no. Oh! Close. All right, saving par here. Kang putting for birdie. Nice. Hole is par three, uh, 240 feet. You either go through the left side with the ante, or you can try to go over the trees. Yeah, these trees are pretty much right in your standard flight. Yeah. But I want to try something fun with his, I don't even know. The streamline is. lift. The streamline lift. Wow, juiced. Super long. I'm gonna go with your Manta again. I like that, the way that felt. 
Oh! Opening. Oh, that's fine. Yep. That's that's great. Oh, so close. So it's 385, par four. Goal 12, go, yep. I'm gonna go with uh, the lift again and pray and go with my philosophy, more space than More trees. space than trees. You can see the pin just between these trees here. So it's a par four, mainly because of those trees. Oh, make it, oh. Hey, you made it through. Where are you going with, Chris? Go with your Valkyrie again here. That's basically the lift, right? Uh, yeah, similar numbers. Oh, you know, it'll make it. Oh, that's, oh, oh, what? There's a baby branch? But I'm through, I'm through. Yeah, we pretty much are right next to each other here. I'm you can see the basket. I'm gonna go zone. I'm gonna, as weird as it sounds, I'm actually gonna go in between those two trees. Okay. And try to have it fade in with the zone, but we'll see. Oh, we're not. Yeah, I didn't really specify which two trees. Yeah, those two trees. Those two trees. <laughs> going with, going with the M model again, US. Oh. It's not as understable as I think it's gonna be. Oh, I let go too early. Oh, that one slipped out for the first time. Yeah. It hasn't been an issue. Birdie putt for Kang. Oh, no. Oh, close. All right, hole 13, par three, 250 feet, wide open. I'm gonna go for the Malta, throw in a little Annie. Pray it glides it out. Oh, no. Nope. Too straight at it. Too high. That's short. Watch. Watch, she's gonna make it. Okay, actually that's just a good, really good approach. Ooh, so close. All right, hole 14, 190, another open hole. We do have some tiny little trees here. Kang, what are you going with? I'm going with the pig. Okay. It's got a weird feel, actually. This is a weird... Lisa has gotten a tr disc in this little tree here before. Oh, wow. That's pretty overstable. Wait, is that overstable? Yeah, it's like the zone. Oh. Going with your manta again. You're going straight at it, pretty much. I was gonna flip a little. Dang it. Hey, we're both over there. <laughs> oh, too high. Oh no, tester. It didn't fade like I thought. Oh! Nice. Okay, hole 15, par three, 205. You can see it's just around the bend here. The secret though with this hole is right in front, there's like a swamp. So if you land in this area around the basket, it's just disgusting. I'm actually gonna go with the bolt. Okay, going with the bolt. Kind of long for the bolt or short for the bolt, but whatever. He's going for a spike hyzer. Oh, Ooh. it flashed it. Same thing, going with your Thunderbird here. Too much. Oh no, it's in the swamp. Oh no, oh, it's actually. disgusting. No, it didn't make it out. No, no, it bounced though. Look at the swamp. Oh god. Oh, one of them's missing. <laughs> he says there's a little branch. And <laughs> oh my god, he went straight into it. Oh no. Hey yo. All right, hole 16 is a pretty tough one here. Got two gaps. There's one on the right, which I don't think really works for this spin position. This one's sort of through this gap here. You have to actually Anheuser it around though. It's, can't really see from here. Going with the- The uh, Europalooza. The uplink. I think it's understable. I can't remember. I think it was. It was. <laughs> oh no. Ooh, okay, no. okay. Yes. Okay, I'm going with your Panther. Are you I'm going up there? A little Anheuser on it. I think you need a lot of Anheuser. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. All right, here's the basket now. So I landed here in this opening. Kang's up here a little bit. Long look for Kang. He's probably just going for a layup here. 
going with the proxy. I'm not going for the layup. Okay. Oh, he's not going for the layup. Proxy here. Ooh. Oh! Oh, nice! <laughs> so close. Oh no, I didn't put any Anheuser. Okay. Oh. 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 So close. Okay, so we're on uh, coming up to hole 17 now. I just ate a bogey. So I'm back to plus four. What are you at now? Minus three still, right? Still minus three. Nice. So Kang's doing pretty well here. Coming to the final stretch of holes. These ones aren't too bad. All right, hole 17 is 165. You can see the pin right over here. So just a light little Anheuser or forehand. Kang's a, for a backhand dominant, so. All right, going with the Europalooza, the uplink. Ooh, a little high, oh. a little long. Oh my god, I went way past Oh no. What? Champ T-Bird. You going with T-Bird? Are you going forehand? Oh, okay, that makes sense. I was like, why are you going backhand? Because I'm so bad. I got to practice my forehand. No, too much. Oh, if I... Oh wow, it went through. Oh, no. Are you okay? I'm okay. Kang has a long look here. You can see the basket. Obstructed. Oh. I went nowhere. Nowhere. Oh, oh so no. close. Managed to salvage a par. 435. I wish in the video you can smell what it smells like here, but it smells like like curry. Yeah, it's so good. It, it smells so good. Like, they're having a little get together over there. I'm gonna try to pretend like I'm family. <laughs> right? It smells delicious. So, okay, what are you going so with? Okay, so the whole 18 par four. Kang already said that this, look at the sunset we got. We're finishing up right on time. I have the box now, because I got a par, but I'm still at plus three right now. So, uh, going with the Valkyrie. I'm just gonna try to reduce it down there. It's wide open. Ooh. A little high. What you going with? With uh, the lift. The oh, streamlined lift here. What a throw. Nice. That's down there. And I want it to. You're it good feels nice. Oh, fade. Yeah, should. It'll fade. Yep. A okay. Short, but not bad. Okay, he's going with the Envy. Oh, oh my! God. I thought I did it. I thought you had that. That was so sick. Oh. Oh nice. my God. I have options. I'm gonna try to get a good camera angle. Boom. Nice birdie. All right, we are all finished up here at Chattahoochee Point. What'd you think of the bag, Kang? <laughs> I actually like your bag a lot. Um. In terms of variety, your bag is definitely better than mine. <laughs> uh, in terms of how light it is, it's a lot lighter. Yeah, than your mine. bag's really heavy, and it's you don't even have as many discs as I do. It's really weird. Yeah, I, I think I think now I'm probably gonna go shopping and try to get more discs because I have a lot of the same discs. I have like three leopards. three leopards. Yeah, three leopards. But you're carrying some Mia's too, right? Yeah, I'm carrying a lot of Mia's discs, which and we kind of throw the same stuff. So, but yeah, <laughs> but overall, I mean. I typically average around like minus five, minus six out here. I got minus three, so it didn't affect Pretty me. Pretty solid, right? But it, really, it was nothing to do with my shots. It had more to do with my putting. Yeah. I miss a lot of yeah, putts. Yeah, switching putters like that, it's pretty tough. Yeah, so I had, I think it was less to do with his discs. Actually, his discs were, I mean, they were a lot of fun to they're, throw. They're discs, right? Yeah, honestly, yours were too. Uh, that, like you said, though, there is less variety, so I had less choice, but it did make choosing the shot easier, because I'm like, I know exactly what disc I'm going to use here, and I know what it's going to do. Uh, putting wasn't too big of an issue for me. I sort of switched to having the uh, the putter on like resting on the top of my finger rather than putting my finger on the rim. So your putter's got a little bead, not yeah. not too big of one, but uh, I don't I, that didn't affect me at all. So, but you said you put yours on the side, right? Yeah, that affect me because I was like I was like, where's the bead? And I was like, <laughs> oh, I was just figure out because there was a couple of putts it stuck to my finger. Yeah, and I was yeah. like confused, and I was like, it's all right. I was surprised only the one time your putter slipped out of my hand. I didn't notice it that much, but so, cause the Lunas that I have, have a lot more like grippiness to them. So uh, I, that affected me a lot less than I thought, 
But overall, it was a fun little challenge. If you guys enjoyed this challenge, definitely give this video a thumbs up. Also, leave in the comments some other challenges you want to see us do while we're out here playing some disc golf. I'd love to get your guys' ideas. We have some of our own, so you'll definitely see some more content out here. So. If you haven't yet also, I'd greatly appreciate it if you consider subscribing to the channel. And until next time guys, cheers.